Hey everybody, welcome to the D. Louise Book Series. I'm Christina K-R-I-S-T-I-N-A-D-E-L-U-I-S-E. -E. And today we're talking about Carolyn Sparks, How to Marry a Millionaire Vampire. Now, Roman Dragoneski is the millionaire vampire. And he owns this big, large company. Okay. So, there are two types of vamp. This book is so good. So, oh, please hit the like and subscribe. Hit, Please hit the thumbs up. I don't have the technology to make all those things pop up. I'm sorry. I just don't know how. It's just me reading books. I read a book. I talk about a book. That's it. I have no special effects. There's nothing special about me. But please show your support by hitting the thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And subscribe. I don't have that technology to get those things going and popping up. Well, I just don't. It's just me reading books. So it's Carolyn Sparks, How to Marry a Millionaire Vampire. And like I said, um, there are two types of vampires in this book. Uh, Roman Dra Dragoneski's group and the malcontent. Uh, the malcontent do, like to drink blood the old-fashioned way through the neck. They like to bite people. They get it free. doesn't cost anything. Roman's people have advanced. I don't know, Vampire Diaries, they used to drink from the bag or pour it in a glass and drink it. Roman Dragoneski's group is um, designing a synthetic blood that can be done by the glass or the bottle, and they put chocolate in it and flavoring the vampire. Let that part go. But they're kind of real vampires. They can't be uh, go out in daylight. They can't be seen in a mirror. So that kind of stuff rings true. All right, they, so they go... And pull some other stuff that way. But don't worry about it. These are so good and so well written. All right. So we have Roman Dragoneski's group with the synthetic blood and the manufactured and the flavored. And then you have the malcontents that like the neck. And Roman's group is experimenting with all these different things. And you know those um, life-size adult toys those rubber dolls or you know what I'm talking about so Roman's group gets one of those and fills it with blood so that um the vampire can get pretend like he's drinking from a human being but have it be the doll you know maybe could maybe the malcontents will give up their human you know cease trying to find humans to drink out of and drink from the, maybe the doll will make them feel better, make them feel like they're drinking out of a real person. So they bring the doll to Roman to try out and he really likes it and he tries it, but he does the wrong thing and he breaks his fang. So it's not going to, it would heal, but it would close over and he would end up having one fang and he'd be, he'd be the laughing stock of the vampire community. So, he needs a dentist. You can't make this stuff up. So, they find a dentist that's open 24 hours a day. They go to Shanna Whalen to be his dentist. Who, after traumatic experience, is now afraid of blood. So, he goes to the dentist, Shanna, and it takes some convincing. And in the meantime... That traumatic experience that Shanna experienced um, left her to testify against some bad people in Russia. I like how the bad people are Russia. Aren't all American movies from the 70s, 80s, well, the Russians with the bad people? So anyways, so the Russians are after Shanna. So she can't do the surgery in her thing because the Russians are coming in to kill her. So Roman takes her home after calamity of things. Um, she gets the tooth fixed. They got it. It's it's so good. They got to go through all this stuff, and um, they got to deal with the malcontents or Ivan, the Russian guy, trying to come after Shannon. Because and once Shannon finds out that Roman's a vampire, she gets scared and she runs like stupid, and. She runs to her FBI contact, who's been taken over by vampires and killed, but she gets out at the last second, and 
it's a whole bunch of calamities after another after another, but it's really, really good. It keeps you interested. The book flows good. It's a really good story, and I'm going to be reading the rest of them um, soon. But it's really good, and there's, there's a couple of twists at the end about Shannon's uh, family and that they will come into play in future books, and you'll find out more about them in future books. But I, like I said, I highly recommend um, Shannon, uh, How to Marry a Vampire, Shannon William, and Roman Dragoneski, and it's a good story. It's it's a it's a different take. It's it's more modern. You know, they don't try to. When I read vampire books, I don't want someone be, trying to be saved or cured or any of that. I don't want any of that stuff. I just want a good old fashioned vampire story. And this was good. And it is good. And the series is good. And um, it's the At Stake series. And we will continue with the next book. I will be reading this whole series along with the other series that I'm reading. Because that's what I do. I'm a serious person. So please hit the like and subscribe button. Please hit the thumbs up. And please enjoy this book. It's really good.